Hey guys, it's time for another plan with me and oh my, I am so excited about this team. For April I chose to do the Dark Academia team. For those who don't know what Dark Academia is, let me quote from Wikipedia here. Dark Academia is a social media aesthetic and subculture concerned with higher education, writing, poetry, the arts and classic Greek and Gothic architecture. The subculture is associated with ancient art and classic literature. That seems a pretty vague description and it looks like there is not an exact answer here. And everyone has their own definition or their own preferences, ideas about what Dark Academy actually is or how it should look, what should be included and what not. And all of those ideas are valid and I'm not saying one is better than the other. In this video I'll be showing you my current perception of Dark Academy and my preferred style and guys, I am limited by my skills here too. Anyway, my take on this theme is a mix of academic aesthetic, history, poetry, dark undertone, all of that good stuff. I will leave a few links in the description to videos and articles about this theme I found interesting. Okay, let's talk about what I'm actually doing. There is no way I would do this theme without painting a statue, no way. There are many that would fit into this theme better and I tried to draw a few in my sketchbook, but this Apollo bust statue was the only one I was able to make look good. As background I've used this black dotted paper by Archer and Olive and it fits perfectly into my bullet journal, which is also by Archer and Olive. I've used white acrylic gouache here and the whole process seems a bit messy. It was obvious I'd lost all my lines after covering them with paint, so during painting I deliberately changed line direction to separate different areas. And it worked good enough. Then I painted in shadows in various shades of grey and it kind of looked sad on the page, so I added some leaves around the statue. As I was in the creative mood, I started to work on the next illustration almost immediately. I wanted to imitate those educational anatomy pages, where you have the subject in the center and explanatory notes at the bottom of the page. I hope I make sense here. I used my white Sakura jelly roll paints in various sizes to make it look similar in style to those illustrations and I only hope I did not make any mistakes in the written part. I've always loved these types of illustrations and I am happy I could include some in my journal too.
time to place these illustrations into my bullet journal. The statue takes place next to the title page. I've used craft dotted paper for both calendar and title and I've used stamps for everything to make it look more in the theme and more cohesive because my writing is quite unpredictable and not doing well when I need to write bigger. I added black paper under to create a border. It is still looking unfinished and I'll be working on it more later. On to the next spread. I place the hard illustration here and then I cut out a bunch of tiny habit trackers. I decided to make something absolutely different with my habit tracker this time. I'll be using this as both habit trackers and page tabs. I've never seen that done before and I'm so happy I came up with it. It fits so well into this theme. I'm not claiming I invented this type of habit tracker slash page tab, I'm just saying I've never seen it done before. So I cut out these sides and place these tiny trackers one by one from both sides of the tab. Because April starts on Friday, I have small space left in the first row to write down the habit there. And the way this is done, I can see every habit tracker at once from first and last daily page, so no unnecessary flipping between pages. I guess it will be more clear when you'll see it. For all the dates I'm also using stamp and then I spent almost an hour stamping every single day out. Why am I doing this to myself? There was a larger space left after the last day so I included small illustration here. Another statue with leaves because why not? I took inspiration from Pinterest and I will leave my references in the description. This time I used Micron Pen for outlining and very diluted acrylic gouache on top. I believe I've used yellow ochre and viridian. Gouache made those black outlines look less visible, more of a grey color, which helped with the overall older look. In the final spread I have my workout tracker. I've forgotten to make one for March and I was missing it, so I made sure not to forget one this time. The whole thing is quite simple chart with dates on the side and listed details about activities I want to track on top. Again using letter stamps for title. It all looks bare, so I decided to bring in my grid washi tapes and dot stickers, all in similar color scheme. While I was adding washi tape all over the pages, I was thinking about what to do with the remaining space left next to the workout tracker. I was watching Dead Poets Society day before and I really liked one of the poems mentioned there, so I've decided to include it in here. It's called Two Divergence to Make Much of Time by Robert Herrick. And in case you can't read my handwriting, it says Gather your rosebuds while you may, old time is still a-flying. And this same flower that smiles today, 
tomorrow will be dying. It has small verses and I'll link the whole poem in the description. I loved how it looked on the page and I added black washi tape and few stickers around. I had these beautiful stamp-like stickers and I finally have a place to use them. This theme is definitely one of my most favorite ones and I was honestly beside myself with joy while working on these pages. Thank you for spending time with me today. See you next time. Bye.